Hey guys and welcome back to a new modeling video in Maya 2018. Well, today we're going to be doing a beer keg. Okay, so let's jump in. Here we go. All right, so we're in Maya 2018 and in front of you is a beer keg. Now, if you are 21 or older, you know exactly what that is and chances are if you're not 21 yet, you still know what it is. Okay. Now, uh, I get this question quite a lot. Uh, for some reason, I never modeled it before, so that's what we're going to do. So let's start with a uh, polygon cylinder. I'm just going to drag select my reference and push that back. There we go. So we're going to take this guy. We're going to go in and we're basically going to eyeball this for the most part. So I'm just going to hit R and scale that up a little bit and then push that up something like so. And then what we want is we want to have our X-ray on right there. And we want to have at least two of those edges. So we're going to go to Internet edge loop, option box, multiple, set that to two. Go back in, add two of them. There we go. And we can hit R and we can kind of scale them up or down based on where we want them. But I think this is pretty good. All right. Okay, so now that we have that, what we're gonna do next is we're gonna go in and we're gonna go to edit mesh and bevel. And we're gonna bevel those. We're gonna bring down the fraction a bit. Let's do 0 0.1, I think that's fine. Okay, and then we're going to go back to uh, Injured Edge Loop again, option box, open that up. We're going to do multiple, but we're going to do one for the simple reason that we can now put one in the middle right there and one in the middle right there. Okay, hit Q on your keyboard, double click on that edge and shift and double click on that edge. And we're going to hit R and we're going to pull that out. Now, as we do that, we're going to raise one up and push the other down. So we're going to hit the skill button to bring it down a bit. So it's centered again. Let's have a closer look. Like this, that's fine. And now if we were to do a preview smooth and just make sure we're in object mode here, hit three, you get something like that. Okay. Now, if that is not tight enough for you, what you can do is hit one to go back in. And we're gonna right click go to edge, double click on these two and push them in like so. And double click on these two, jump to this window right here. So we basically have the same distance lined up and so forth. That looks pretty good. And we're going to go in again, object mode, hit three to preview smooth, and you'll get something like that. All right, not too bad. Okay, uh, not quite there yet. I am not 100% happy just yet. So I'm going to go to edge, double click on this one, shift, double click on that one. And we're going to go to edit mesh and bevel, which will give you a little bit more rounded edge. And if you're going close, you can see what I mean. Okay, so object mode, three to preview smooth looks much better okay now we're gonna want to go back uh, we need to bevel those top edges as well so I'm gonna right click the edge double click on this one and shift double click on that one edit mesh and bevel and a couple of things we're gonna do here we're gonna increase the segments let's do four and then let's do 0 0.1 on the top there and I think that's fine. Yeah, it looks like. Yeah, that's okay. And then we're gonna jump to our top and we're gonna go in here and we're gonna right click at a face, drag click all of these faces. And if we hit four, you can see we've got everything. We're gonna hit control E to extrude. We're gonna tweak the offset and work inwards like this, okay. We're gonna hit G to repeat last command. We're gonna tweak the offset again. Hit G to repeat last command. Tweak the offset again. And maybe one more time. All right. And I'll explain to you why, okay? So next we're gonna do is we're gonna go in, we're gonna right click, go to vertex. I'm gonna take that vertex in the middle right there. Hit B on my keyboard, hold down B, left click and drag until I basically have that entire top right there. And I'm gonna hit W and 
pull this up. Now you can see that you kind of have to figure out how far you need to go. So I'm going to hold B again and kind of pull that out a bit more. Still not there yet. Hold down B. Just having a look here. I'm happy with that top, but as you can see, it's stretching up quite a bit, but that's okay. We'll bring it back a little bit. I think that looks fine. Now you're never gonna see that bottom there. That should be uh, slightly um, bulged as well. We'll just do a little there, okay? So I think that looks fine. And uh, now we can go in and take that little thing on top there. So what we'll do is, uh, let's see, I'll need to manually do that. First hit B to turn that off uh, because I only want the top here, not the bottom, okay? So I'm just gonna individually select these. Okay, so they're all selected from the top. We're just gonna hit delete. Make sure we don't punch any holes anywhere, that's fine. We're gonna go back in, we're gonna get edge. I'm gonna double click on this edge, hit control E to extrude it, and W to pull it up. And let's have a look at our reference here. So what does that look like? Okay, yeah, fine. So we're gonna raise that up some more to yeah, about there would be fine, okay? And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna hit uh, Control E to extrude. We're gonna hit R to scale out. We're gonna hit G to repeat, W to push up. G to repeat, R to scale in. Let's have a look from the top here. How far we need to scale in? A bit further, yeah, like this. We're gonna hit G to repeat again and W to push down. Okay, G to repeat, R to scale in, and we'll go to about there, and that should be fine. All right, so we're gonna click outside, we're gonna go to here, we're gonna hit three to preview smooth. That's what that's gonna look like. Now that edge at that little neck there is a bit tighter than this, so we hit one to go back. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to injured edge loop, option box, set that to single put one in right there and one right there to hold that shape and depending on how rounded you want the top here to be you can do that there as well but we'll see we'll hit a uh, q on a keyboard hit three to preview smooth i think that looks fine then we need to have some kind of cap in here so we'll uh, take a polygon cylinder we'll hit w to pull that up We're gonna go into an attribute editor, hit control A to open that. Let's go in and set this to five, which is fine. And then we'll set three on the caps. That's fine as well. And then we're gonna right click, get a face, drag, select the bottom faces and delete them. So we just got this guy, okay? Let's uh, shape this first. So I'm gonna go to face, select these faces and maybe select these as well. Control E to extrude, and W to pull up, like that. Uh, I think that looks pretty good, okay? So we're gonna hit R, we're gonna scale this down quite a bit. After frame it, so we can see what's going on. Let's uh, look from our top, make it slightly bigger, so it's covering that hole right there. I'm certainly no beer expert, so I don't know exactly what that looks like, but I think it looks okay. All right, there you go. So now that we have that, let's look at the top and bottom. Now that, um, let's see, for that what we'll do is we'll take a polygon cylinder and I'm just gonna pull this upwards just because it's easier to see while we're working on it, okay? And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna go in from the top 
I'm just going to right click at a face, drag select these faces, and delete all of them. So we get this, right? We're going to go to vertex, we're going to drag select, we're going to push that down. That looks about right. And then what we need to do is go in, right click at an edge, double click on that bottom edge, control E to extrude, R to scale in. G to repeat last command, W to push up, like that. And then we're going to go in and we're going to right click at an edge, double click on that edge, edit mesh and bevel to round that out. We'll do the same here, not that we're going to see that, but you know, it's fine. Just hit G. And if we go into object mode and hit 3 to preview smooth, that's going to be nice and rounded. Let's see if that's to the extent that we want and I think we need to might we might need to bring that in a little bit so what we can do there is go into our top um, just take this guy for a sec hit H to hide it and what we're going to do is we're going to right click go to edge let's see if we got everything here I think we do yeah we're going to hit R, let's just push that out like so, okay? we still got this little guy here, we'll just hit H to hide that as well. So we got this, now we've got a couple of openings here, it looks like we've got four. So um, what we'll do is we'll go in to Injured Edge Loop, make sure it's set to manual, that's fine. We'll put one in here. Hit Q on a keyboard, go to object mode and hit 1 to undo our preview smooth, okay? And uh, let's see, where do we want these? Uh, and what are they looking like actually? That's even more important, okay? So uh, I'll just look at the top of my grid here so it's easier to identify which one we want. So I'll just go to vertex, drag select these so I know that that's one of the four corners. And then we'll go in here and let me think. What I'll do is I will take that top vertex and take that one as well. Take that one and that one. There you go. And I'm going to go up to uh, Edit Mesh and under Vertex to Chamfer Vertex. And then I'm going to go in to Face and delete those faces. Okay, and then we're going to go back in to Object Mode. We'll hit 3 to Preview Smooth. That's not bad. I'm not quite there yet, but we're going to hit 1 to go back. We're now going to right click at the edge, we're going to double click on the top edge and we're going to control E to extrude and R to scale in, like so. And then a G to repeat and W to push down. And then I'm going to right click and go to edge and I'm going to double click on this one and shift double click on this one. And we need to have all of it. So just make sure we do. And we're going to go to Edit Mesh and Bevel. Let's increase that fraction to, let's say, 0 0.7, and then increase the segments a little bit, and we should be good. Okay, let's preview smooth this guy. Let's see what it looks like. I'm not quite sure if that's deep enough, these openings, so hit 1 to go back and we'll address that manually. So I'm going to go in here. Okay, we're going to right click go to vertex and I'm going to drag select these vertices and then we're going to go in here and I'm going to drag select these and these 
and we're going to hit W and we're going to push that down like so. Let's give another try. Hit 3 to preview smooth. I think that looks all right. Just going to want to go back and hit Control Z once or twice because it tends to be pushing outwards a little bit. So I'm going to hit R and I'm going to bring that in to compensate. So now if I preview smooth, it should look okay. And I think it does. All right, so we're going to go to uh, display and heads up display. Now actually to show and show all. And we're going to take this guy, we're going to hit W, we're going to push it down. Hit R to scale that up. W to move it up. Let's look at the bottom here. Turn off my x-ray for a second. Okay, so let's scale that up to about there. Okay, I think that looks fine. Um, you can uh, argue whether you want to have it a bit higher or not. If so, just hit R and kind of stretch that out a little bit. Hit W and push that up. Well, I think that looks all right. And then we're gonna deal with our top. Now for our top, it's uh, somewhat similar. Uh, we might even consider using or reusing this guy. So we're going to hit Control D to duplicate. We're going to hit W to move it up. E to rotate it. Hold on J to flip it over. Hit W to push it down. Let's see where we're at. Okay, now we need to look at that little, little nozzle thing and uh, that's not supposed to stick out so this needs to become a bit higher and looking at this guy that makes sense okay so we're going to go in here and we are going to um, right click go to vertex we're going to drag select all of these first make sure that we're not in smooth mode by hitting one so yeah that looks fine we're going to bring that up until it's at the very least covering the top there like so. And looking at our example, maybe even more than that. So let's uh, bring it up a bit more. Okay. And then we got handles on two sides or openings or whatever you want to call it. So we're going to go in here. And what I'm going to do is go into uh, Engine Edge Loop, Option Box. We're going to go in, set that to two. And then we'll put them in right there. We'll hit R to pull, whoops, wrong handle. We'll hit R to pull them apart like so. Okay, and now let's see where we wanna put these in, okay? So uh, I'm gonna go with, um, let's see, we've got two sides here. So I'm gonna go with these two we need two edges on the inside as well. Hang on. Let's do that first. Okay, let's make sure that they're all aligned. We're going to hit R and we're going to start to stretch that out until they're at the same place. There you go. And then we're going to go in, we're going to go to face one and two and one and two. Delete those. And then one and two. Delete that. And one and two. And delete that. Now we need to close up those holes. So we're gonna go in to edge, go in to edit mesh and bridge. And I'm just gonna go all the way around and continue to do that.
All right, let's hit three to preview smooth. That's not too bad. Let's see if that's too round or not. I think it's actually pretty good. So what we're gonna do next is we're gonna have a look at that little top edge here because in our example, you see that that's coming in. So we're gonna hit one to go back. Let's see what's going on here. That's something we need to deal with. So we're gonna right click go to face. Looks like we, well not we, looks like I extruded that improperly. So we need to close this up. All right, let's see. We're gonna go to object mode, hit three to preview smooth, and that's not too bad, except we want that little edge to come in at the top there, okay? So let's go in, hit one to unsmooth, if you will, and we're gonna go into this guy. I'm gonna click and shift, double click. We're gonna control E to extrude, and we're going to tweak that thickness. Let's do 0 0.1, that should be enough. And maybe hit W and kind of push that down like so. And then let's give it a try with our preview smooth, hit three. And I think that looks pretty good. All right, so uh, yeah, that's our keg. Uh, hopefully it's filled with beer and we can have a party, all right? Well, thank you guys very much for watching and see you guys next time. Bye. Well, thanks for watching. And before you go, please hit that MH button to subscribe, okay? See you guys next time, bye.